A philosopher once said, We must take care of all beings in the world as if they were our fellow citizens and neighbors. In the vast expanse of human experience, where the threads of individual lives intertwine in a complex web of relationships and interactions, there lies a timeless philosophy that offers a beacon of clarity and strength. Stoicism, an ancient doctrine born in the heart of a tumultuous era, emerges as a guiding light for those who seek tranquility amidst the chaos of human affairs. This philosophy, steeped in the wisdom of sages and tested by the ages, does not shout from the rooftops but whispers truths in the quiet moments of reflection. It teaches us that the essence of a well-lived life is not found in the clamor of the crowd but in the silent dialogue between the self and the universe. As we embark on this journey through the stoic way of life, we invite you to delve into the depths of your own being to discover the fortitude that lies within and to embrace the serenity that comes from mastery over oneself. The teachings we are about to explore are not mere suggestions, but the distilled essence of human resilience and virtue. Join us as we unravel the eight Stoic principles that can transform your interactions with others, not through grand gestures, but through the subtle art of self-control, understanding, and acceptance. Let this be more than a mere viewing. Let it be an awakening, a call to the inner philosopher that resides in each of us. Prepare to be captivated, not by fanciful tales, but by the profound simplicity of Stoic wisdom. For in these teachings, you will find a story that resonates with the core of what it means to be human, to struggle, and to emerge stronger in the face of adversity. Let us begin this odyssey of the mind and spirit, and may you find, in the words of the Stoic Masters, a reflection of your own potential for inner peace and harmonious living with all of humanity. 1. The Dichotomy of Control In the realm of human interactions, the Stoic principle of the dichotomy of control serves as a guiding star. It is the recognition that while we cannot influence the actions, words, or thoughts of others, we hold absolute dominion over our own responses and decisions. As Epictetus profoundly stated, the chief task in life is simply this, to identify and separate matters so that I can say clearly to myself which are externals not under my control and which have to do with the choices I actually control. When faced with the complexities of relationships and the challenges they bring, remember this stoic tenet. Focus on your own actions, your own will, and your own path. By doing so, you not only retain your peace of mind, but also become a beacon of calm for those around you. It is in this space of self-governance that we find the true power to solve problems with people not by changing them, but by embodying the change we wish to see. 2. The View from Above Imagine observing the world from the lofty heights of Mount Olympus, where the gods of myth reside. From this vantage point, the Stoics urge us to gain a broader perspective on life's challenges, especially those involving our fellow humans. Marcus Aurelius, a philosopher king, counseled, You can rid yourself of many useless things among those that disturb you, for they lie entirely in your imagination, and you will then gain a large space by comprehending the whole universe in your mind and by considering the eternity of time and the infinity of matter, and by reflecting on the rapid change of each particular thing, how short it is, from birth until dissolution. By adopting the view from above, we are reminded of our shared humanity and the triviality of our conflicts when set against the vast canvas of the cosmos. 
This perspective fosters empathy and understanding, allowing us to approach problems with others not as personal battles to be won, but as opportunities for growth and connection. It is a call to rise above the fray, to see beyond the immediate, and to act with the wisdom of the eternal. 3. The Reserve Clause In the Stoic practice, there is a powerful concept known as the Reserve Clause, a mental tool that prepares us for the unpredictable nature of life's events, especially in our dealings with others. It is the subtle art of saying, I will do this, fate permitting, a reminder that while we may set forth with intention, the outcome is not ours to command. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, offers this wisdom. While we wait for life, life passes. The Reserve Clause teaches us to engage fully with others, to plan and to act, but always with the awareness that the threads of fate may weave a different pattern than we expect. This acceptance does not weaken our resolve but rather strengthens our adaptability, allowing us to remain steadfast and composed when the currents of existence shift unexpectedly. It is a call to embrace the journey with others, with the humility to accept what comes and the courage to continue striving for harmony and understanding. 4. Amor Fati, the love of fate. The Stoic concept of amor fati is not merely about accepting one's fate, but embracing it with open arms. It is the profound love for one's life, every moment of it, regardless of the nature of events that unfold, especially in our interactions with others. The great Stoic philosopher, Marcus Aurelius, once reflected, accept the things to which fate binds you, and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. This principle encourages us to perceive every encounter with another person, not as a chance occurrence, but as a destined part of our life's narrative. When we adopt this mindset, the problems we face with people cease to be obstacles and become integral parts of our journey, enriching our experience and contributing to our personal growth. In loving our fate, we find the strength to transform conflict into collaboration and adversity into opportunity. It is a call to not just endure life's trials with others, but to cherish them, for they are the very essence of the life we are meant to live. 5. Premeditatio Malorum The Anticipation of Adversity the Stoic practice of premeditatio malorum, or the premeditation of potential adversities, is a mental rehearsal for the challenges that may arise in our interactions with others. It is not an exercise in worry, but a strategic preparation for the difficulties life may present. Seneca, the Stoic statesman and philosopher, advised, what is quite unlooked for is more crushing in its effect and unexpectedness adds to the weight of a disaster. This is a reason for ensuring that nothing ever takes us by surprise. By contemplating the possible negative outcomes in our dealings with people, we arm ourselves with the foresight and emotional resilience to remain composed when faced with actual difficulties. This stoic technique enables us to maintain our inner peace and equanimity, even in the midst of conflict or misunderstanding. It is a call to fortify our minds against the shocks and surprises of human relationships, turning potential disruptions into well-anticipated events that we can navigate with grace and wisdom. 6. Sympathia the interconnectedness of all. The Stoic concept of sympathia speaks to the profound interconnectedness of all things in the cosmos, including our relationships with others. It is the understanding that we are not isolated beings, but part of a larger, interdependent whole, 
The philosopher Hierocles envisioned concentric circles of connection with the self at the center expanding outwards to include family, community, and ultimately all of humanity. We must take care of all beings in the world as if they were our fellow citizens and neighbors. By embracing sympathia, we recognize that our actions have a ripple effect, influencing not just those immediately around us, but extending far beyond. This principle encourages us to approach problems with others, not as isolated incidents, but as part of the greater human experience. It is a call to act with compassion, empathy, and understanding, knowing that each of us plays a role in the collective well-being of our society and the world at large. 7. The Inner Citadel The Stoics teach us of the Inner Citadel, a fortress within ourselves where reason and virtue reign supreme. It is our sanctuary of inner strength, impervious to the external chaos of the world and the tumult of our relationships with others. Marcus Aurelius, a paragon of Stoic thought, wrote, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. When conflicts and challenges arise in our interactions, we must retreat into this citadel, drawing upon our reserves of wisdom and composure. Here, in the quietude of our innermost self, we can reflect, deliberate, and choose the path of action that aligns with our highest principles. It is a call to cultivate a resilient spirit, one that can withstand the storms of discord and emerge unscathed, maintaining a harmonious relationship with others and with oneself. 8. Memento Mori, The Reflection on Mortality The Stoic practice of Memento Mori, The Reflection on Mortality, serves as a profound reminder of the impermanence of life. This awareness is not meant to evoke fear, but to inspire a deeper appreciation for the present moment, especially in our relationships with others. The philosopher Epictetus stated, Let death and exile and all other things which appear terrible be daily before your eyes, but death chiefly, and you will never entertain any abject thought, nor too eagerly covet anything. By keeping the inevitability of death in mind, we are prompted to live each day with purpose, to resolve conflicts with compassion, and to forge connections with sincerity. Memento Mori encourages us to view our interactions with others through the lens of our shared human journey, one that is fleeting and precious. It is a call to cherish the time we have with those around us, to seek resolution and understanding, and to act with the knowledge that each moment could be our last. In this way, we can create a legacy of wisdom, kindness, and harmony that endures beyond our own existence. As we draw this philosophical exploration to a close, we reflect upon the stoic wisdom that has coursed through the veins of this narrative. The eight principles we've delved into are not merely abstract concepts, they are the bedrock upon which one can build a life of purpose, resilience, and harmony with others. In the spirit of Stoicism, let us not part without a moment of gratitude for the time we've shared in contemplation and learning. May the seeds of wisdom planted here flourish within you, guiding your actions and interactions towards a more virtuous and fulfilling existence. And now, dear viewer, if you have found value in this journey, if the words spoken have resonated within the chambers of your heart, we invite you to join our community of seekers, subscribe to our channel, and together let us continue to unravel the mysteries of philosophy and life. Like this video, not just as a token of appreciation, but as a testament to the shared quest for knowledge and self-mastery. Remember, in the grand narrative of life, your story is being written with every breath, every decision, 
every interaction. Let the Stoic teachings be your guide, and may your path be one of wisdom, courage, and compassion.